News Channel. I'm going to give it a little tug. I'm going to pull on it. It ain't moving. It's in there. With this one here, I'm going to line up my decal and push it down. Then I'm going to come back to the top and add from the top. You're like thinking, oh, why? I want these to be nice and even. I want the space to be nice and even. So I see where my spaces are right there. I'm going to just go to town on this. Drops. Five drops there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the heck? Seven. You come back and you look at this. These are both lined up. Perfectly lined up. Space is lined up. It's nice. It's straight. What you could do is put it like a pen or something, a little spacer in there. And then, uh, you know, just go for it. It's kind of tough getting that CA in there. I mean, your first time, it's like intimidating because, you know, we've all used the CA stuff. And it's like, you don't want, you know, you're like, I do not want to get that stuff all over the place. You don't. You don't want to get it all over the place. And you definitely don't want to get into a situation where you've just stuck your wings together. Your, your, <laughs> you know, your, uh your wing surfaces to the moving parts. And then all of a sudden, oh, great, man. You've got this solid, great. <laughs> Going back, and I'm doing a little reinforcement here with this thin CA. Moving it back and forth a bit, like so. It's setting up pretty fast. Yep, I must have spit while I was talking. That's good. At least it's not CA. I'll take spit. Okay, so this guy, this guy right here has been hinged. What did I do to accomplish it? You saw it. Basically, I drilled down next to each one of the tab markers, or actually each one of the slots. Drilled down on each side of these tabs, so it gave a place for the glue to go. And uh, did it on all of the sides, then came back hinged it on, moved it over so that these lined up. You saw it in action. It's really no need to go on the whole thing. Well, this is going to take place on the other wing. I am not going to bore the living daylights out of you by uh, doing this. Maybe I should. I don't know. Just keep on trucking. If I cut tape, I cut tape. If I don't, I don't. Let's see if I can screw up. You know, being a little overcautious with this. I know I could set this down on wood. be probably no big deal. But to start off with, um, that's going to be my approach. Put it on that right there. Let it go. That's funny. Let's see here. So, let's take this off. Take this one off. I'm going to look directly down in here. Look at these to see if they're even. They look about even as far as the, the middle of this little sphere. They're little spheres. I'm going to drive this down in here, straight alongside it. Yeah, there's that side. It, has to be, it doesn't have to be directly on the other side of the stuff. It doesn't have to be directly. You could put a, a, a couple of holes if you really wanted to. Here's this guy here. I'll experiment with this one. I'm going to take this out and put a single hole down in the slot. Just to see if I can do it with this one here. 
So I started doing that with my shoestring. These things were a bit of a monster to get back in there. It sort of screwed up the slot. That right there, that worked pretty good. That did work pretty good. I'm going to see if it can happen on this one here. Put a couple slots. Just for friends. See if this fits back in. And it does. Fits in there nice. Oops. Going to be like so. Looks good. Just to see. Okay, they fit on pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Line her up, cap on my glue off. Bend it to its fullest extension. And you can see where it stops. There's a stopping point right here. Like this. This is equal to the wing. And that's about the right spacing. So if I put this over and get that. Cautious of my. There we go. I should be able to get this in here without making a mess. And it does. It just sucks it right up. Just gobbles it up. Move that around a bit. Looks good. Come back to this one. just really sucks that CA right up. And I have super thin CA, so it's just it's just eating it up, just gobbling it. Like nothing. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Nice and even. I am going to put in more Yeah, it just it just slurps it up. Takes it right in. I'm not gonna mess with the top. I'm not gonna drop CA on the top. I don't want to get a bunch of, if if I screw up, I've got CA all over my plane. So this stuff is pretty it's it's in there. I mean it's really soaked it up. It's soaked it up. Little tug. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. So same gig on this guy here. Let's line him up. Just looking at my just looking at my decals, making sure that my decals are lined up like this on this side. This is the end of the wing lined up here. I want this to be a little bit away. If you look closely, you'll see that's a little recessed. There's a little bit of a recess there. I don't want that thing right up against a, this section of the wing. That's where the wing's attaching to the body. I don't want this rubbing. So it's, it's 
It's been done right. These decals are on right. I just line up these decals, move it into its farthest down position, look back on the other side. Those are golden. He goes for it. Going for it. Screw it. You know what? And there we go. That's my first mistake right there. What are you saying? What are you what talking about, Stu? I dropped a little piece of CA right there. Just a little thing of CA. And I doubt. Watch this. I'll get my alcohol out. I'll get a little rag out. It isn't going to matter. It is not going to matter. Up to CA, it's on. Bam. Oh, what do you know? That did come off. I left this as just a little. It came off. <laughs> I'm impressed. I've never had it successful where you drop CA on here, and then you get something like an alcohol and whatever. Now, that works with epoxy, but I've never. There you go. You just witnessed it. I just got a little bit of this. Got a rag real quick, stuck it on there, and whip, it went off. It came off there. Learned something new every day. Dang.